Introducing the major series of putting, the biggest and richest putting tournament in history. Hosted in the heart of Las Vegas at a state-of-the-art stadium on a pristine 18-hole putting course designed by golf's greatest name, Jack Nicklaus. You can qualify by attending putting events hosted at some of the premier golf courses in the Vancouver area. The top place and ties from each event receive free entry into our Las Vegas qualifier. You win the Las Vegas qualifier, and you're off to Vegas, baby. Sign up now. Secure your spot to the biggest putting tournament in history. This is your shot at glory. Hi, my name is Ray Nielsen. I'm here at Tap Ins Putting Course, and I'm here to tell you how you can qualify for the biggest putting tournament in history. It's called the Major Series of Putting. It happens in Las Vegas, October 26th. You can punch your ticket to Vegas. All you need to do is to come down to Tappan's Putting Course. The entry fee is $5, that's on top of your green fee. And if you shoot the lowest score, or you tie for the lowest score each week, you're in the final September 30th. You win that final, you're off to Vegas to putt for 20 grand. Uh, it's a $50,000 purse. The top 20 people get paid out of that purse. And uh, to give, you a, to give you an edge on this course, uh, we've got Kalen over here. He's one of the owners. No one knows this course better than he does. But he is going to give us the tips on every tee shot so you're in the best position to get a birdie on that hole. You can enter every day between 10 and 5, between now and September 29th. So come on down, get the low score this week, and punch your ticket to Vegas. Here we are at Tappan's putting course. Hole number one, it's a par five, double dog leg, 182 feet. The play here is just to get it to the first dog leg, all about distance control. Here we go. So this is hole two, it's a par five. Uh, 251 feet, it's one of the longest holes on the course. Also has the longest starting shot of any of the holes. I'm gonna try and hug the left hand side and land uh, way down there by that, that rock. So we'll see what happens. So here we have one of the shortest holes, uh, number three. You get a hole in one on this one, you get a free game. The idea for the pin placement on this guy, you want to hit it again right to left. It's going to break about a foot and a half to the left. Uphill. So this is hole four. Par 4, 98 feet, horseshoe hole. Um, you want to play on the left hand side of the mat. Advantage for left handed putters, disadvantage for right hand putters a little bit. Uh, we're going to try and hug the right hand side and uh, see how it goes. So here we have hole five. It's also a par four. As you can see, I'm set up on the right-hand side of the mat. Um, you want to stay on the right-hand side and try and cut the left of the fairway. Now there's a little bit of risk to that because the ball, if you hit it too close to the left-hand side, it's going to take it into the rough and you're going to incur a penalty. So we'll see what happens. So 
this one we got hole six, par three. There's not much to this one. You want to get it down to the base there. All your balls will basically collect down there. There's not much you can do to, uh, to get an advantage. The one thing you don't want to do is hit it too hard and uh, go into the rough. Here we have hole seven, it's a par four, it's uphill, you see there's a rock, you can go left or right, going left is fool's gold, no advantage, stay on the right hand side, it's uphill, you just want to make sure you get up to the landing and make sure you don't hit it too hard so you go into the pond. We're at hole eight, par four, 160 feet. We're gonna just pretty much stick it right down the middle of the high, uh, highway. <laughs> and uh, you're either gonna get down and have a look for a second shot, or you're not gonna hit it hard enough and you have to do a layup. The one thing you don't wanna do is hit it too hard and go into the rough. We got hole nine, par three, really difficult par three, 140 feet. This guy, I'm gonna start on the right-hand side of the mat, try and cut the left-hand side of the fairway, and get down there far enough so I gotta look for a very difficult birdie putt. And that is not what you wanna do. So here we have hole 10, par five, major horseshoe hole, uh, 210 feet. First shot, you wanna get far enough out that you've gotta look for your second shot to get you in position for an eagle putt. It's pretty important to get far out, otherwise you've got no chance of birdieing or even parring this hole. Okay, here we have hole 11. Not much you're gonna do here, par four. Everything kind of feeds to the gully. One thing you don't wanna do is hit it too hard, just like on number six, and go into the rough. So otherwise, it's gonna incur a penalty shot. Here we got hole 12, par three, pretty straightforward. This is just a, a distance putt. A little too soft, you're not gonna have a look at the flag. A little too hard, you're gonna be in the rough. So we're now on hole 13, everyone's favorite hole. This is the free pizza hole. You win a pan go pizza if you get a hole in one on this baby. Um, the keys to this one is stay on the left hand side of the mat, try and put it high right. It's gonna break hard left and hope for the best. Here we have hole 14, par four. It's another horseshoe hole. Again, this is also a tee shot that's all about weight and distance. You wanna get it just far enough that you can have a shot to get to a, a makeable eagle putt, um, but not far enough that you go into the rough. Okay, here we have hole 15, 
my personal favorite. It's par four, uh, very nuanced. This one you want to go just middle of the fairway, just enough to get it down into the valley. If you hit it just right, it'll even take the next bank and you can have a look for eagle, in fact. Um, but in most cases, just distance, weight, get you over that hump and it'll feed nicely into the, the gully. Okay, so we have hole 16 here, a favorite of many. It's par four, over 100 feet. If you hit it just right, it will feed all the way to the hole. Let's see what happens. So here we are on hole 17, par five, one of the longest ones on the course. You got a decision to make, you either take the high road or the low road. I'm gonna try the high road today. Uh, wish me luck. Here we are on hole 18, par three to finish it up. This hole demands accuracy. Um, you wanna try and just get it right down the middle of the fairway. Don't play too cute with the left side, otherwise it's gonna get sucked into the rough. Here we go. Sign up now. Secure your spot to the biggest putting tournament in history. This is your shot at glory.